where do I go? When there's no one else to turn to, who do I talk to? When no one wants to listen, who do I lean on? Oh, oh. When there's no foundation stable, I go to the rock. I know he is able, I can go to the Hey everyone, welcome back to another midweek. Super excited to see you guys. We are going to be playing a game here, as you can tell. It will be Blind Pictionary. So, someone is going to have their eyes covered, completely blinded, they can't see, and the other person has to guess what they are drawing. And it'll be funny, because trying to draw when you can't see is pretty difficult. So, we're going to be playing that. Boys versus girls, you know how it is. Girls, ladies, they always go first. So, let's cut to that. Okay, ready, Miss Leah? I'm ready. Okay. It's a pyramid. No. A teepee. No. Triangle. No. Um. I. I okay, pass, 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 pass. Yep. Uh. No. A boat? No. A moon? 
Uh, no, pass, 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 pass. I brought, I got my mask, I can just use it as a blindfold. All right, that's sanitary. Yep, perfect. Okay, right. ready? Yep. Okay, here we go. It's a square! Yeah! Yes! yes, we Let's got it! Go! Oh! Oh, wait, should we keep going? Yeah. No, okay. we gotta go harder than that. Fine. Fair. Okay, fine, we'll go harder. Fine. It's a circle! Uh, okay, okay, it looks like... It looks like two eyeballs and a unibrow. Um, that's, that's what I'm seeing, right? I, I don't think so. All right, they say I know. Um, okay, two eyebrows, a unibrow, and an antenna sticking out of the head. Now it looks like ink. Oh, uh, uh, I don't know. How can you not get this? This is so easy. It looks like binoculars with smoke coming out the top. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what it is! Let's go! Let's go! Okay, one more. Is one it more. actually that? Yes! It was binoculars with smoke, with smoke coming, coming out of it. Yeah. I've never even heard of that before! Hey, I can't help it! Alright, I'll take it. All right, well, you're drawing on the other binoculars. Well, I don't know. I can't see. And now it just looks like... I don't know what it looks like. Okay. The letter D. Close. Okay. Uh, is it a, v uh, it's a noun. Is that a check? No, that's not a check mark. A harp? Yes! 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 No harp? Yes! Yeah, no harp! We win. Easy. We win. That was no problem. First try. First yes. guess. Every time. Yes. So amazing. So All easy. Right. Boys win. Finally. Welcome back, my friends, as we're going through our Define for Preschoolers book. So glad that you joined us today. Today, we're going to be talking about that we're broken by sin. And that's a lot to understand, so we're just gonna take it piece by piece. So our verse today is Ephesians 2, 2. You used to live in sin. And so you could say we were broken by sin. And what does sin mean? So, sin means to think or say or behave in a way that goes against God's teaching, what God's commands are. So sin is something bad. Sin separates us from God. And what does broken mean? Broken means something is damaged and no longer works. So that sin separates us from God. Um, so if I don't listen to my mom or dad, does that, is that a sin? Yes, it is a sin because it's written in Ephesians 6, 1, children obey your parents for this is right. So we always want to listen to our mom and dad because if we don't, it's a sin. We don't want to separate us from God. Does everyone sin? Yes. Unfortunately, no one is perfect and everyone does sin. This is why God sent us his son, Jesus. And God, Jesus, God sent Jesus to die for us on the cross. So if you remember the Easter story, remember how God sent Jesus and then he died on the cross? But then he was, he forgave all of our sins and then he resurrected 
and went to heaven. So God loves us so much, they gave us his only son. Do you remember the first man that man and woman that God created? Do you guys remember? Good job, it's Adam and Eve. And sin started with a long time ago with Adam and Eve. So we're gonna look at our Bible story together. And this is from Genesis 3. And this one's called the Sneaky Snake. Many trees grew in the Garden of Eden. God told Adam and Eve, you may eat the fruit from any tree except for one. Never eat the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now there was a sneaky snake in the garden. One day the snake saw Eve near the special tree. It hissed, did God really tell you not to eat the fruit from this tree? The snake wanted Eve to disobey God. It said, you should try some of this tasty fruit. If you eat it, you will be like God. You will be able to tell the difference between good and evil. The fruit looked tasty. Eve remembered what God had said, but she ate the fruit anyway. Then Eve gave some to Adam. He took a bite too. As the sun was going down, Adam and Eve heard God walking through the garden. He was looking for them. Adam and Eve hid among the trees. They were afraid. What have you done? God asked. Did you eat the fruit from the forbidden tree? Adam said, yes, but Eve gave it to me. Eve said, yes, but the snake tricked me. God told the snake, because of what you did, you will always crawl on your belly. Then he told Adam and Eve, because you disobeyed me, you can no longer live in the garden. Well, friends, that was such a good story, and it's all true. It all really happened. So God, the sin separated us from God, but because of Jesus, there's good news that we get to be back into God's family. And we'll talk about that more later. So there are some fun activities in your book, some tracings of the snake and some um, find the differences. So make sure you go through those. And with your parents, there are those questions to ask with them. So let's um, discuss those. So the first question is, who were the first people to sin? So think really hard. Who were the first people and who were the first people to sin? They're the same ones. Uh, who or what kind of animal told Eve if she ate the fruit, she would know the difference between good and evil? So that's something to think about too. And could Adam and Eve live in the garden after they ate the fruit? So put your thinking caps on, talk those questions over with your parents. And guys, there's good news after this story. Because we used to live in sin. So that was our verse, because we used to live in sin. Because Jesus, we no longer have to live in sin. So that's such good news. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you for him and his sacrifice to break us from sin, Lord, that we get to live forever with you in heaven. And we love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, we will see you next week. Bye-bye.